In this video, you will learn how to go from this to this. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say internet search? Of course, it's Google. Google is not the only search engine though. YouTube is a search engine. Your cloud drive is a search engine. Even your to-do app can be a search engine. And if you regularly search for information online in any place other than Google, you should start using Google Chrome's site search feature. Open Chrome and go to settings, search engine, manage search engines and site search, site search. When you search for something in your Chrome address bar, by default, a Google search results page will appear. However, you can set up keyboard shortcuts followed by a string to search within a specific website or web app. Let's look at some examples. By default, if I type YouTube Lucas Prigge, it will first go to Google and I need to click on the result to get where I want to go. However, with this shortcut, I only need to type YT followed by the search string to directly end up at the YouTube results page. Here's how it works. If you press add next to site search, you'll be presented with three fields to fill out. The first named search engine is the name you give to the custom search. This name will show after you've entered the shortcut, but it doesn't have to be the same as the shortcut. The shortcut field contains the actual keyboard shortcut you want to use to gain quick access to the site search feature. Make sure that this doesn't conflict with any keyboards combinations you already use quite often. The last field is the most challenging and it's critical to get right. It's the URL that'll actually make the whole thing work. Let's take YouTube as an example. If we go there and search for something, we need to watch what we see in the Chrome address bar. Let's search for ticklish camel. As we can see, the URL structure looks as follows. We have youtube.com slash results question mark search underscore query is ticklish plus camel. Now let's go back to the field named URL with percent %s in place of query. Fortunately, it's pretty self-evident which is which. We searched for ticklish camel, so we just need to turn that into percent %s and paste it in there. Finding the search query URL will not always be this easy, and sometimes it will even be impossible. I've tried it with various apps and sites, and it's really a hit and miss thing. A few examples that work perfectly, though, include Google Drive, Twitter, and Todoist. Now that you know how this works, give it a try. Take a look at which sites and web apps you use often and see whether you can turn their search functionality into a custom Google Chrome site search. But we're not done yet though. What if the site you want to search in doesn't even have a good search functionality in the first place? Here's a little workaround. This only works if the site is actually indexed by Google. In other words, if the content is public, you don't have to log in to access it. If you go to Google, you can type sites colon your site's domain, followed by the query to see results exclusively from that site. We can take this one step further though, by turning this search into a custom one as well. In this case, it's a bit trickier, but by carefully studying the URL structure, we'll be able to figure it out. It's actually pretty obvious until we arrive at what comes after the string. Fortunately, we can just delete all that without losing functionality. So in this case, we keep everything intact until the plus, after which we replace the original string with the percent %s query. And as you can see, you now have a super quick way to search virtually any site, whether it's through its own search functionality or with Google's help. Good luck with setting up your queries and let your imagination run wild. I've seen some amazing use cases with internal websites and apps, internal wikis for businesses, CRMs, 
customer support systems, if it has a search functionality, site search will help you massively waste less time searching for that piece of information you need and move on with what you are doing. I promise you that this small shift will save you a lot of time and energy in the long run. Thanks for watching and share your custom search queries in the comments.